Have you ever wondered how some individuals manage to win an argument without raising their voice or even appearing to be in the lead? It's an art, a science, a dance of words and emotions. It's the power of persuasion. Consider Martin Luther King Jr., the master of peaceful persuasion. He led the civil rights movement in the United States, not with a clenched fist, but with the power of his words and the strength of his convictions. He won hearts, changed minds, and transformed a nation, all without ever claiming to be winning. Or take the case of Mahatma Gandhi. He led India to independence from British rule, not through violence or aggression, but through peaceful protests and non-cooperation. He persuaded an empire to let go of its jewel crown, not by shouting louder, but by speaking truth to power. And then there's Nelson Mandela. He spent 27 years in prison, but never gave up his fight for racial equality in South Africa. When he emerged from jail, he didn't seek vengeance. Instead, he pursued reconciliation, persuading a divided nation to come together in peace. What do these leaders have in common? They understood the power of persuasion. They knew that winning isn't about defeating the other side, but about finding common ground, about creating a win-win situation. So how can you harness this power? It starts with understanding. Understand the other person's perspective, their needs, their fears. Show empathy, show respect, make them feel heard. Next, communicate clearly and effectively. Use facts, not just emotions. Be logical, be rational, but also be passionate, be authentic. And finally, be patient. Persuasion is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It takes time, it takes effort, but it's worth it. Because in the end, you don't just win an argument, you win a supporter, a friend, a partner. To summarize, the principles of persuasion are about understanding, communication, and patience. It's about winning without making the other person feel like they're losing. It's about peaceful, respectful dialogue. It's about creating a win-win situation. Remember, Martin Luther King Jr., Mahatma Gandhi, Nelson Mandela, they didn't win by shouting louder or fighting harder. They won by persuading peacefully. They won by making their opponents feel like they were winning. And you can do the same. So go out there and win peacefully. Because in the end, it's not about who's right, but about what's right.